Hello everyone, welcome to Shorthand Battle. I am Divya and I am going to dictate you a legal passage of approx 650 words at the speed of 90 words per minute. So get ready for the dictation. 3, 2, 1 and go. The Apex Code in criminal case under Article 32 of the Constitution of India, namely Satya Prakash Supra, keeping in view the fact that in spite of the order of Apex Court directing for his release in the second case, he could not be released on account of first case wherein he was undergoing life imprisonment. In the said peculiar backdrop as petitioner has undergone more than 21 years of imprisonment with remission, his release on bail for 6 months has been directed. This court can also in exercise of its authority under Article 226 of the Constitution of India where the issue of personal liberty is involved can pass appropriate order keeping in view the peculiar characteristic of the case and specially when under the scheme of things provided for under sections 432 and 433 of CRPC and the UP prisoners release on probation rules 1938 there is no such provision for release on bail provided for. Here prayer for bail has been pressed before us by requesting that bail should be allowed to petitioner as petitioner for more than 21 years is in jail with remission. It is true that the bail has got direct correlation with the personal liberty of the accused as well as the convict and this is also equally true that more than 21 years period has already been spent by petitioner in jail with remission and the application for release in form A of petitioner is pending then issue before us is to the effect as to whether we in the facts and circumstances of the present case proceed ahead and enlarge the petitioner on bail pending application for remission and release purely on humane considerations. In our considered opinion in the matter of grant of bail in exercise of authority under Article 226 of the Constitution of India in post-conviction cases, discretion of grant of bail should be rarely exercised and in case such an authority is required to be exercised in the facts and circumstances of the case, then such order must reflect perfect balance between conflicting interests, namely sanctity of individual liberty and the interest of society. Once conviction has been recorded and convict is undergoing sentence, then bail is an exception to the said rule as there is requirement of shielding the society from the hazards of those committing crime and potentiality of repeating the crime. Each case for the purposes of bail has to be considered on its own merit. Here bail cannot be accorded to petitioner for the simple reason that petitioner was declared as absconder and he was apprehended at Singapore airport on 21 April 1995 pursuant 
to red corner notice issued and thereafter order has been passed for extradition of the petitioner to india to undergo trial and thereafter he was convicted by designated judge tada kanpur for conspiracy to commit the murder of one ld arora in the year 2008 and sentenced to imprisonment for life the appeal preferred by the petitioner against his conviction was dismissed by the apex court and his conviction of life and sentence has been upheld once such is the factual situation that on one hand petitioner has moved application form a for release on the premises that he has spent more than 21 years period in jail with remission and on the other hand his complicity has been reflected in a criminal case bearing case crime number 260 of 2015 under section 364a and 120b ipc police station kotwali district allahabad wherein evidence has been collected to the effect that he hatched the conspiracy of kidnapping of pankaj mahendra for demanding ransom of rupees 10 crores once such is the factual situation that has so emerged in the present case that during the pendency of the application for release complicity of petitioner has been reflected therefore in view of this the request for grant of bail in our considered opinion merely because petitioner has spent more than 21 years in jail with remission same cannot be absolute ground for directing release of petitioner on bail during the pendency of the application in question stopped